What's up, everybody? Got uh, about to do the fiberglass and bondo. What I did, I went at, I used um, old trick method to get like parking tickets or uh, tow stickers off your car. Hit it with WD-40, and uh, so I sprayed WD-40 on top of the roof. I hit it with the wire wheel, and that got rid of the um, like glue residue from the vinyl top that was sitting up here, and. Once I got done doing that, I grabbed some rubbing alcohol, put it in a spray bottle, and put it on a white cloth that I got from my job, actually. And sprayed it, wiped it down really good, did it twice. Um, the rubbing alcohol is actually, like, doing it that method, it saves you on having to buy uh, tack cloths. So that's why I did that. And it got all, like, the oily residue, whatever, off. And then I put tape around it to... Um, so I don't go outside this line when I'm doing the uh, laying the fiberglass and the bondo so I don't go outside the line. Bought this sander on let go for dirt cheap. Um, these sandpapers I bought at Harbor Freight. They're like three, four bucks. So I bought them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them and cut them to fit this sander and that's how I'm gonna sand down all the uh, fiberglass and bondo and shit. I got the Dynaglass. Uh, I bought that at O'Reilly's. I think it was O'Reilly's. Yeah, O'Reilly's, it was like 30 bucks. It's short strand, short strand fiberglass. It's waterproof metal wood fiberglass repair. Uh, I got that and it came with the hardener. I got that at O'Reilly's for like I think 30, 40, 35 bucks max. Um, bunch of body things. I'm having a brain fart. It's early. Um, to spread it. So I'm going to mix it up. Wear gloves when you're doing it because uh, the fiberglass is actually what they use in like roofing shingles. And I learned my experience from using. Uh, with fiberglass, when I was doing roofing, I took my shirt off with my big brother, and I was itchy as hell. A dude cruising on that motherfucker. Uh, so everything is pretty much smooth. I added a couple more welds. Everything's pretty much smooth, though. There's a dip right here. As you can see it. And then there's those welds right there. Dang, I should bring this out more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring that out more. Um, so, to mix up the uh, fiberglass, you just pretty much put like a golf ball, golf ball size about like this, big around, and then you put like maybe an inch of the hardener, cream hardener in it, and then you, Whip it up like that. I need two hands to do it. That's why I'm not recording it. And it's hot and my phone will shut off in mid-video. So you just...